Hey guys, it's makeup basket time. Let's get started because every week my makeup basket's like 17 hours long. Okay, I got the Olay Fresh FX BB Cream and I'm really excited about this. Um, I have used it like twice, you know, even though it wasn't in my makeup basket last week, just because I got it and it was new. And it does have SPF in it, SPF 15. And I'm wearing it right now and I really like it. It's light coverage. I mean, it's they're basically glorified, you know, tinted moisturizers. But to me, Olay is just more of like skincare, you know, so I feel better putting this kind of BB cream on my face versus like CoverGirl, <laughs> you know, so I have this guy very excited. I'm going on like three hours of sleep, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm so wound up. Tons of plans today, but the sun is out, so I'm in a great mood. And for concealer, I'm whipping out my full coverage concealer from NYX. This is in beige. And then I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in NW20. And I'm not sure if this is even the right color. You know, I got this a little a little while ago. I got this new bronzer from Ulta when they had their like 20% off of anything fancy or drugstore. And my sisters and I placed a really big order. <laughs> and this was just $15. It's from Too Faced. It was just this little set. And it's the Chocolate Soleil um, Matte Bronzing Powder. And it's super tiny and cute. Like when I first got her, I was like, good lord, that's small. But it does smell like chocolate. Oh, For blush, I have my Benefit Fine 1 1. It's this guy if you haven't seen it. It has like the blush and a highlighter in it. And it's cream and I do like it because it gives a very luminous, summery, sun-kissed glow to your face. So excited, guys. I got this... Um, Tarte Blush and Flushed. Look how gorgeous this is. Bam. Gorgeous. That pigment. Oh. I told myself I wasn't going to swatch anything. Yeah, right. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. You guys know from my haul if you watched it uh, like a week or two ago that I picked this up and it's gorgeous and I love it and I'm so happy. It is just beautiful. Let's not waste it, right? Oh, I love this so much. Um, so I'm just going to keep using that. I'm moving on to eyeshadows and the like. I'm going to be using my Nude Tude from The Balm. I just have to use this every now and then. <laughs> you know, like I love this palette so much. It's gorgeous. And I don't know, I just have like a soft spot for it. Like you'd think it had a personality or feelings that I'm like, oh, I haven't used this. I don't want it to feel left out. But I, this is definitely my favorite palette. If you don't have it, highly recommend it. The bomb is always on um, on Holt Look. I have a link down below if you wanted to sign up. And you can get this like for $18 or something like that. So highly recommend that. It's beautiful. And I have this Chroma Shadow. This is Intimate Spotlight. And I don't know how I feel about this. Actually, this says it's a long-lasting illuminator. Am I using this wrong? I mean, this has to be a shadow. It can't be like for your cheeks or something. I used it. I thought it would be a powder, but it's more of like a cream, which was weird to me. And it's nice. I'll probably do a review later on when like my hits or misses little, you know, five products in five minutes thing. But uh, I'm going to keep using it just to see, just so I can have a definite opinion on this. The other things for my eyes, I have this 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in pink Evermore from Jordana. This is one of the new products that they have and I'm in love with Jordana right now. They have, all their new products are amazing. That is this guy. And let me just tell you, they have this 12 hour made to last promise with um, their eyeliners and stuff like that, which is also in my makeup basket. And I swatched these guys and the next day, they were still there. I mean, they were definitely lighter the next day, but they were there. The quality alone, I think, is better than, like, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I know, you guys know I love them. Um, the next items I have, I got on clearance, I think, at, was it Target or Walmart? I don't know. But they were clearance, and that's what's important, right? This is Rimmel London. This is the Glamize Quad in Dark Signature. Um, I got this for $3.48 very very pretty colors I mean you guys know me and my purples like come on beautiful look at that and this purple is very reminiscent of like a few urban decay shadows 
So I'm going to use that. Guys, I have like this little tiny tissue. I need to stop swatching. And then for $2.97, I got this um, color tattoo. This isn't Fierce and Tangy. Um, you can see it's like that orangey one. And I'm like, oh, they must be discontinuing it. I don't know what's up. This is sealed, like with normal sealing. It's not like this was used and returned. But... I mean, it's at every other store. I got this at Target, and it's at every other store full regular price. So, I don't know. But I got it for $2.97. I picked up two because I was like, what the heck? And gave one to my sister. So I have these. But I have three mascaras. Right now, I am using the sample I got from Makeup Forever. It's from, like, a Sephora order I placed online. And this is the Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I really like it because I have used it and the brush just looks like this. And surprisingly, I love it. You know, I don't like weird shaped brushes. This is pretty bomb. <laughs> but um, I don't know how much it is, but I have so many mascaras that I would not purchase it unless this thing like made my lashes like this and did my dishes and cooked my husband dinner. So I will not be buying that, I know that for sure, but I think I really like this, guys. And then the other two mascaras I have, they were $3.49 each. Oh no, this was $3.49. This is Pop Lash from Rimmel. This is one of the new ones they have. And I just got black, right? Why is it blue? Guys, I thought I got black. I'm like, why is this blue? I got turquoise. I didn't realize. Oh, holy lord. Um, okay. Well, you know what? I put that in my makeup basket and I'm going to use it. Dang it. So there we go. I'm going to be wearing this bright blue. And then one that I know is okay is the best volume extreme volumizing mascara from Jordana. This is one of the new ones also. And check out the size of this guy. I mean, humongous. This is like my whole eye. Normally I don't like brushes this big, but I have used this and I do like it, um, but I want to keep using it. The formula is really wet, so it's pretty messy. It always gets on my lid, but maybe it'll dry out a little. Maybe I'll leave it like cracked open a little. Has anyone done that? Is that bad? I don't know. For liners, Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencils. I have them in charcoal definition and aqua stone. And these guys are the ones that I was talking about that I tried washing off and they did not come off for like a day. Great quality and I'm thinking these might be like a dupe or a quasi dupe for the 24-7 um, glide on liners from Urban Decay. And I hope so because I think these were like four bucks or three or four bucks. I think they were $2.99, which is a lot better than $19. So I'm going to use that. Do you think it's too much if I use like the turquoise mascara and liner? <laughs> and then I have, almost done. I'm gonna try this Mil Milani brow tint pen. I got dark brown. I saw this, it said new, but you know, it's like this could have been a year ago and if it's the same packaging, it's gonna say new. But, um, but I just thought it was interesting. I've never tried anything like this, so I'm gonna try it out. I've been using the taupe pencil, eyeliner pencil from Wet n Wild that I got for 69 cents. I've been using that on my brows and I love it, so I'll probably use that if this doesn't work out. Then I'm just gonna throw this in here because I will forget. I got this sample also from Sephora and it's the Agave Healing Oil Treatment. And this is for your hair, but I'm going to use it. And I think I might throw in these little kinds of things in my makeup basket. That way I make sure that I use them throughout the week because I have, guys, I have like boxes, not a box or two. I have boxes and boxes of samples, so I need to start using them. So I have this, I'm going to use that. Last, lips. Okay, I have one lipstick. I know, guys, but I just have so many things and I'm not using them. Oh my gosh, I need to add something else in here. Let's see what colors I have. Dun, dun, dun. I'll go with these two. Perfect. So for lipstick, I have this flower lipstick. It's a lip butter in Wispy Wisteria. This is flower, the Drew Barrymore line at Walmart. Really pretty packaging. I really, really like it. Is this, like, yeah, it's like a rose gold. It has like this pretty like shape to it. However, once you open it, I mean, look how skinny this is. It's like barely any product. And I know I could have looked at the weight, but I never do that. And I don't even know what's good or bad. But it's a very pretty color. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch anything, and here I go. It's very pretty. It's almost like a color whisper. 
or a Revlon lip butter. I mean, it does say it's a lip butter. But very pretty, so I'm going to use that little guy. Then I have two of the new Jordana um, lippies here. This is a Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. This is Candied Coral, and this is what it looks like. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I really do like these, and they do stain. They last pretty well. And then I have Cranberry Crush, which is more of like a berry color. It's right there. Beautiful. And they smell good. They smell a little, they smell like some kind of candy. I don't know what, but it's not very strong at all. You really have to like stick it in your nose. And then I'm going to be using my new Color Riche um, lip products from L'Oreal. I have a Lilac in Lacquerized and then the La Matte in Matte for Me. So the Lilac is this beautiful blue toned pink, almost a little bit lilac, gorgeous. Very excited to wear that. And then the La Matte oh, is matte. And it's just like this deep red. Beautiful. I love my reds. <sighs> so that's my makeup basket. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to get this down a little shorter. Um, but probably not because that's just how I roll. But, oh, sorry. And my Rimmel Stay Matte <laughs> Press Powder. That is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below. A, if you like this video, B, I don't know, any tips on how I can stop talking so much, and C, what's in your makeup basket? And if you don't have a makeup basket, do you have any new products that you really want to use and that you are going to say, I'm going to use this this coming week? So let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You stay blessed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.